Well done beautiful people, welcome to yet another video. I hope you guys are feeling good. Now, the reason why I am on here, <laughs> I am first of all glad to be back with another video. And I am just so, so happy. I never thought I would say this, but I am so, so happy that the Premier League is coming to an end. <sighs> It's coming to an end this Sunday and we will be having our, our last two games. First we'll be facing Man United, then we'll be facing Newcastle on Sunday 28th of, 28th of May. And I, all I have to say is this is almost hectic. Hectic was an understatement. I mean, we're finishing first in the bottom half. And this, as I mean, Chelsea, as with the new owners, was an all-time low. And we struggled. We, str we struggled. We fell out of all the competitions. We, In terms of the management, it was haywire. We went and signed a certain somebody who, on paper, he looks good. On what he was doing with his previous team, he looked good. But when he came to Chelsea, it was exact opposite. I do not see charisma from this coach. We, we all know who I'm talking about. If you don't, then you, you must be riding, hiding under a rock. But most of all, I want to apologize to you guys because I have not been consistent with my videos this season. This is because actually this, I don't want to give you an excuse because this will just be, it will look lazy. And I just have to say that, you know, I just had some, <laughs> To put it best ups and downs that i had to deal with and hopefully i am able to get better especially this um uh the, the days that are coming forward we'll be having the transfer window opening it will be opening as early according to the premier league it will be opening yes make sure you stick the video till the end so i'll be telling you when the uh, the transfer window will will soon be opening so the official announcement has been made by the premier league and <sighs> I mean, I am just tired. I am honestly very tired. Yes, we fell out of all the, we, we just, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, I'm tired. Aren't you tired? I am so tired. Chelsea drained me. Drained me was understand. what is an understatement. So if you're into the channel, please make sure you like the video, share it with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. Now let's jump right into it. I'll be diving into some news that have been circulating in terms of the rumors of the players will be leaving. And I'll be telling you general Chelsea news, diving into the, what's going on in Chelsea. Now, in terms of women's club, this is the only positive thing that has been going on in Chelsea. So the women's club was able to finish first in the women's super league. We're still competing in the champion in the women's champions league. So there's that and other competitions. So we flourished in terms of the women's club. But in terms of the men's club, this is where we just saw a lack of a lack of leadership. We, we saw a lack of mentality from the players. Everything was just haywire and scattered. So in terms of this season, I thought we would give the new owners a, a trial period, a trial season, but it was just honestly blocks. It was bad. Even the Pochettino rumors that have been circulating, they have just been rumors, but hey, the season is almost coming to an end. And in terms of Frank Lampard, he's not our coach. <laughs> He's not our coach. He's a club legend and all, but he's not our coach. So he'll, he's just he's just there to just make sure that the books are there. He's just there for the sake of it at this point. And as I mentioned in my previous video, it's commendable of him, you know, to stand with us through these tough times. And thank you to everybody who has been standing with us because it has been tough. It has been absolutely incredibly tough, but I hope you're able to, you know, become better. In terms of the injuries, now Badia Shile apparently will be out till next season whoa which this injury is very severe because <laughs> well i hope he does not leave because in terms of this season even the new players that we signed we're only able to see a few of them come in we're not able to have our number nine play and what was the reason for signing all these players just to see them rot on the bench literally rotting look at what man city did to us i mean the last time i was on here we were facing nottingham forest and my expectations for that game honestly were flat because in terms of how chelsea has been this season it's either a draw or a loss on a good day perhaps perhaps a draw on a very good day a win but 
on every other day which is every other day that we have expect a draw or loss so in terms of Nottingham Forest it was a draw and in terms of Man City 12 minutes under 12 minutes into the game we just considered one goal and that was enough for them I mean that's all they needed to take the, ch the, the Premier League title and three times in a row bravo to them I mean you cannot hate on excellence I mean with the likes of Haaland and the team that they have and their coach it speaks volume I hope we can take some lessons from it if we cannot at least take anything from them you know <laughs> they are still competing in the Champions League they beat Madrid yo that was the highlight of my Champions League I mean when Man City was when Man City were able to beat Madrid I honestly thought Madrid would come back in that second leg but in their home they said you know what we are not we are not going to lose and kudos to them so final they'll be facing some Saturday players they'll be facing one Lukaku in Inter Milan who has gone on record to say a lot and the thing is why can't you give Chelsea out of your mouth <laughs> okay fine fine understand he's just on loan but he has made it absolutely clear that he does not want to come back to Chelsea whether we have a new manager or not he feels like he belongs in Inter Milan and you know what so do we all so do I so do you please tell me in the comment section down below and subscribe while you're at it turn on the post notification bell well in terms of Lukaku he had a lot to say I think I'll just have to read it up because at this point Lukaku is just doing Lukaku things so this is what he has to say as good as Chelsea last season but I knew then that if it didn't work out at Chelsea, I still had Inter. When I signed again, I knew I belonged here. I belong, <laughs> I belong here. I take this club seriously. I want to do my best. These people here see that. Being encouraged here is the best thing there is. And as I said, he doesn't want to return to Chelsea. I mean, at this point, he's feeling a bit braggadocious. And I would, I'll be probably in the same boat. I mean, first of all, they're competing in the final of the Champions League. But I highly, highly doubt that they're going to win because Man City's team is just, ooh, it's intense. How did Inter Milan even get to this final? <laughs> I think I just slept and woke up and it must have been a dream. But hey, they're in the final and Bonaboy and Anita will be performing in the Champions League uh, final. So I'm excited to see that. It will be an instant ball. So I can wait to see what happens. Then in terms of what is going on in Chelsea, of course, Mason Mount, apparently for the last four months, no talks have been held. And you know, there have been rumors circulating that, you know, talks are being held. There's no agreement. And the benchmark is Rhys James. He's earning £250,000 a week. So uh, apparently there's a bit of dispute in terms of his contract. Hence, now, uh, uh, once the season ends on Sunday, now Man United will be placing an early bid for Mason Mount in hopes that they will be able to win the player. And he's looking towards going to Manchester United. So, I mean... <laughs> The craziest thing, <laughs> just picturing Mason Mount and you know Chelsea boy and all the the, the the boy with the dream and all the banners. Oh well, it's nothing of the past. Maybe he'll just have to go. I mean, right now I think he's just looking out for himself. And Chelsea are evaluating him at almost 70 to 80 million pounds. <laughs> But some interested clubs are saying that that's an overestimation of his value. But he has won player of the season two times in a row. Come on. He's still a young player. He has good days and some bad days. He can, depending on how he's feeling, Mason Mount can, you know, at times. <laughs> he can, he, he starts, he starts a good, but this season, of course, everything was just dipping. Everything dipped in terms of every, each, every player. I mean, April, we had one go, one go, one go. I don't want to I don't want to reminisce because this season was more than a dagger to the heart it was just hard but <sighs> two more games till it's over hopefully if you're able to at least win these last two games and finish top of the bottom half of the table <laughs> let me laugh on myself because at this point I cannot cry Chelsea will not give me high blood pressure and it will not stress me because you know what I'm not about that life so in terms of what is going on in Chelsea now Mason Mount is just one of the players who will be leaving now in terms of some of the other players we have likes of we have the likes of Abumayang, the likes of Mendy the likes of um 
uh, ZH, uh, the likes of Pulisic. So the list is very long. As Pilipueta might be leaving too. So it, it's a very, it's going to be a very interesting summer. So I'll be keeping you updated in terms of the sum, summer transfer news. But as Man United, they've already qualified for the Champions League. Yeah, technically they've qualified. So in terms of us, we're just fighting, you know, to go at the top of the bottom half. But we are still second. So let us finish strong and. You know, every time I open the Chelsea app and I see the PR statements, I see the players being interviewed, I get so angry because the latest news that I opened the last time that I opened my app was Trevor Chaloba looking back on the camera and saying, you know, the, the statement there was uh, Chaloba looking on finishing strong and I'm just like... What strength has this strength been throughout the season? I do not blame the players whatsoever, but the players are to blame. Look at the likes of Real Madrid when they were under Zidane. Come on, if the players actually want to, if the players actually want to show up for the team, they will. And if the players want to step up, they will. But this time, they just didn't. So in terms, and there was a lot of, there was a lot of factors. And I don't want to give excuses. So we just have to do better. It's either that or we're relegated. I mean, we fought relegation this season. <laughs> I think I should do a look back, a deep dive into what happened in Chelsea this season. But this season was stressed, to just say the least, and to put it to put it flat right out and simple it was just stress so this as a finish up now in terms of blue business todd belly is dialing back involvement at chelsea as he refocuses on other ventures after a difficult first season in charge of the football he now is spending 20 percent of his time as compared to 50 percent of his time when he first started so now will he be able to make better <laughs> Will he be able to make better decisions? I don't know because I feel like we made a mistake. I mean, coming from the Russians, going to the Americans, did we jump from the from the frying pan into the fire? What did we do? What is going on? And are we go? What is going to happen this season, this summer? I hope we're not going to be making extra extra big signings only for it to come and backfire uh, back at us and i hope we'll be wiser with our team let us use what we have let us come on come on at this point it's frustrating <laughs> we know as chelsea what we can achieve we have our books we have our trophies we have our players, we have the talent, there's nothing that we do not lack, we have the facilities. So in terms of Chelsea, I just want us to be better and hopefully this season, as we, as of course the players will take a bit of a break. Last year, during the break, I think we went to Dubai, so I don't know what will happen this season, so at the, by the end of the season, but let's let's see. I mean, hey, the money is there, so might as well spend it. Since I started my YouTube channel, this has been the worst season ever. In terms of my consistency too, I have been affected because honestly, it was demoralizing, I won't lie. You know, just the, the enthusiasm of coming on here and predicting the starting 11 and predicting whether we're gonna win or not, only for us to end up losing or having a draw was honestly frustrating but i have to keep on persevering and as i am i am learning i'm growing so bear with me guys but thank you for everyone who has stuck who has sticked with me throughout this season thank you thank you thank you i hope to be better and i hope to give you better results but in terms of chelsea that is what is going on shout out to the women's team the men's team can definitely do better but <laughs> hey we move and i am definitely looking forward to the future and i cannot see i cannot wait to see what the future holds so up the blues and up uh, <laughs> on we go up 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 and away we go <laughs> anyway guys you as chelsea fans at this point you know we were just tired when we just went up to, uh, when we just went down and we just kept going down and down and down we're just tired and we just want this season to be over and you know have better decisions better management better everything so if Pochettino is actually coming he should be coming once the season ends let's see what he brings to the table and <sighs> I don't know I don't know what the future holds but you can only hope and Follow, with, follow up with what's going on. So that was my video. If you enjoyed the content, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. You guys gonna see me later. Bye guys. Subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell too, by the way. <laughs>